Hey guys, this is Tame, and welcome to another Toontown Rewritten video. Now in this video, I will be showing you guys how to most efficiently complete a factory solo. Now, this is only for the purpose of getting merits, um, if you were trying to complete your Daisy Gardens task, I really, really do not suggest you try to solo a factory, unless you have really good gags. Now, what you're going to want to do is... The, very, the most efficient way is to go through the side entrance uh, to start things off. That is just because, well, you will see in a little bit. So anyway, let's go in and I'll start to get into things. Now by doing these runs, you will reel in approximately 500 merits per run. Uh, I don't know the exact number, but it is somewhere around that. Um, maybe a little higher, actually. It may be something like 560, but... Still, uh, these runs, which typically take around 11 minutes on average, if you can do them quickly enough, uh, they are quick, easy to do uh, factories that can easily get you a lot of merits if you do them over and over again. And if you're stuck with max merits and you don't have any friends, if you can't find a single other person to do a factory with you, this is often a good idea. So. Some crucial gags for this are not tune up, trap, or drop, but instead, I strongly, strongly recommend you have max lure, max sound, max throw, and max squirt. Now the reason for this is their level 6 gags, having them maxed is extremely crucial and is very beneficial towards the fact that you do really do not want to take any damage. And, I mean, the reason for not taking damage is pretty obvious, you don't want to die in here. Uh, I know I have 113 laugh, and cogs under level 9 are not going to kill me very easily, but still, I don't want to take any damage just because when you get back to the playground, if you're trying to chain these kinds of factories, it's just going to take more time to get your health back up and also have to deal with gags at the same time. So anyway, as you saw in that last battle, I used a Foghorn on the Cogs. No, I did not get experience, but Foghorn helps you get these kinds of battles done as quick as possible because they all die in one shot, and all is well, that ends well. Now, if there's a level 6 in a battle, with the exception of another fight that we'll get into, I would not really suggest using the Foghorn just because it kind of seems like a waste seeing that someone's going to attack you anyway. In that kind of situation, I would recommend using the Big Magnets or... Well, yeah, the Big Magnet. Don't use a Hypno. Always save the Hypnos for the Silos. I'll get into that later. So, yeah, like I said, typically I average about 11 minutes in these kinds of things, and they're really efficient. Like, I once got some max merits in a little under 4 hours uh, just doing these over and over again. So, it's helpful. Um, Alright, well, for this situation, you're going to want to lure in the cogs. Now, the reason I'm not using my foghorn will become pretty evident a little later on. Also, let me get into a thing that some people know of, some people don't, called the chance of getting knocked back for each cog. So, as far as I know, if I were to use this fire hose on any of these cogs, if I use it on the middle one, I don't believe that it will get knocked back. Oh, hey, it will. Well, anyway, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it only works on the silos, but I'll demonstrate there. But anyway, typically how it goes is, when you use a gag on a cog in these battles, the cog on the right will always receive knockback from your lures, the cog on the left will have a 50% chance, and any cogs in the middle will have no chance at all. But, I don't really know why that level 4 got knocked back in the middle, maybe that's because I was using a level 5 gag, could be, beats me, I don't know, but yeah, that's generally how it, you want to take it. So now that we got done with this battle, we're at about 3 minutes, which is a really respectable time for right now. And also, when you're going through this, if you want to save time, you can even skip one of the pipe room fights. You don't have to fight both sets of Skellicogs. I just like to because, I don't know, that's my personal preference. Now, another optional room is right here. I believe is the boiler room. Yeah. See, I don't even know these names because I've been maxed for so long that I have no idea because I don't go in factories. So, right here, you're going to want to use another big magnet. Now, another strategy that you could use, but I don't exactly recommend, is you could use a couple elephant trunks. But like I said, that's not really a fantastic idea, so don't do it. 
All right, so we'll take out that guy first. Then we'll take out the three, and then we'll take out the Gladhander. Typically for these fights, because of the knockback rules, you'll want to go left, or I mean right, left, and then middle. Just because when there's only one cog, you always get knocked back. Alright. So, max sound is pretty obvious, the reason why you want that. Max lure, uh, just having a max hypno goggles really, really kind of makes the silos a lot safer, and the foreman also. Because the foreman, if your lure misses, that could potentially really throw a wrench into your run. And, because, like, total, I think those can do around 60 damage total if all of them do, like, the absolute maximum damage. It's probably not that high, it's probably more like, I don't know, 50 or 45 or something like that, but still. It can definitely chunk your HP. So I'm going to skip the original lobby and also the Skelecogs, the level 5, 6, and 5 Skelecogs. Um, typically, I'd like to try to avoid any fights with level 6s, just because I don't have any Foghorns to blow. Literally, Foghorns to blow. Anyway, uh... So the reason I saved my last Foghorn is for this fight in particular. For the Warehouse, uh, just because it's kind of a weird fight with four cogs and the knockback gets a little bit screwed up, uh, you're going to want to use that. And that's just so you can take out three cogs, you only have to deal with one hit, which really won't do that much damage. Like look, this is going to do like three damage or something like that, okay. So that is not a big deal. Honestly, that is probably the only hit I'm going to take throughout this entire run, so one shot is not going to kill you from a level 6 cog. Alright, so once you take him out, we're at about 6 minutes, I think. Alright, so we're done with the warehouse now. Obviously hit the button. And if you want, you can take out the cogs, but honestly, if you, like, just practice or go through enough factories, you can honestly just go without stomping the goons completely and just get through without any harm like that. So anyway, uh, always gonna want to go to the left silo first, just just because the right silo has a really, really glitchy and sort of ridiculous elevator that no one ever uses, so yeah. Just gonna wait for this here, and then in these silos, you're really gonna see the use of Max Throw, Squirt, and Lure, because, yeah, it, I mean, it gets a little harder here, obviously it's just a factory, level 6 and 7 cogs, so nothing too serious, but still nothing light either. And hey, a Mangler! Alright, so here I actually am going to kind of go out of turn, uh, let's start out with a Hypno. Hey, it missed, what a great, great thing. Alright, so actually, uh, I was kind of hoping this wouldn't happen, but I was also hoping it would. If you look at the layout of the cogs right now, we have a 6-7-6 six, six setup, which is not... That's basically the worst thing that can happen, because what happens with this, it's really optimal to get the level 7 on the right, I think. Or actually, no, 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 this is actually good. Uh, what I was trying to say is, what you don't want is you really don't want the level 7 to be on the right. Because basically when that happens is you have to blow a storm cloud or some gag on the cog just so it will die. But also you'll have to burn another if you want to not take a hit. So let me try to demonstrate the fact that uh, middle cogs do not receive knockback. What?! Okay, maybe they patched that or something, um... I don't... okay, when I did all my factories, they did not get knocked back, but I guess they do now, so... Scratch anything I said about that, um... That's really new to me. I like it, though. Okay, so I guess all cogs get knocked back, I'm not sure why that's happening, but... It didn't used to happen, but... Whatever. Um... So I guess we'll just kill all these cogs and move on with our run. So, we lost a couple minutes just because my lure missed, and I had to demonstrate that, but it's fine. At this point, you should be at about 8 minutes for your factory run. Looks like I'm at about 9, so I lost maybe a minute. No big deal. So, 
Anyway... And yeah, 12 damage, uh... Kind of an example of how you can really start to get chunked by these cogs if they attack you enough times, like... They're not too lethal, but still, I've already lost approximately... What? 37 health? And I've been hit maybe three times, so... Just be careful, because... Losing health can add up fast. And especially in the foreman, if you get a whole round of cogs attacking you, you could easily be dead, and I I will be completely honest, I have soloed, tried to solo factories at 109 laugh, or when I was like 107, 108, something like that, and I have died in factories before because my lure missed, so the fact that you have max lure, or the precondition that you have max lure is especially crucial, just so there's no chance of that happening, because dying in a factory sucks. Like, there's no other way to put it, it just sucks. And hey, look! Another lure miss, so this is gonna be great. Alright, got a miss, luckily. Let's see if the other two will miss. Oh my god, it actually did. No way. Ah, okay, I wasn't gonna get three for three. I'm not that lucky. But anyway, let's try this one more time. I'm just saving my Hypno for the Foreman. Okay, there we go. So naturally, disregarding everything I said about knockback, uh, we'll just want to go right to left. I just like to start with the right cog for safety, but, I mean, to each their own. So use a kick on him. And then we'll use a cream pie on the name dropper once he blows up and gets off the screen. And there we go. So provided that everything hits, you should be at maybe nine and a half minutes. It looks like I'm getting close to about 11 and a half, but nonetheless, we'll keep going. All right, so once you get that done, go hit the second switch. Go over to the Foreman battle and get ready for the last battle in the factory. Now a lot of this information may seem a little bit obvious, like, hey, why are you telling me something that's really easy to do and really obvious, but, I mean, to some of the newer players who haven't been in a factory before, or some people who really don't know how to grind merits as well as other people, or who don't have friends or whatnot, I'm sure that this guide could help someone out there. So, alright. One last what I'm just gonna see if this is completely... Okay, yeah, I guess they changed the knockback rules because apparently everything receives knockback now. So, I don't know, let's see, let's see if this gets knockback. I'm still just skeptical about this because, like, it never really used to be this way. It always used to be the right one always gets it, the left one has a 50% chance, and the middle ones never get it. So, therefore, this is a little bit discerning, but... Okay, so I guess I can put my rumors to rest. Uh, everything gets knocked back. That is new to me, but I will accept it. So anyway, once you do that, just take out the rest of the cogs. Then you will get your merits, and you have complete... You have completely soloed the factory, successfully. Now you can't see how many merits I got, uh, just because I'm maxed by accident. <laughs> Not by accident, but just because I'm maxed. Uh, you'll get approximately 560 in 11 minutes. Like, you should finish these around 11 minutes. I went for 13 just because my lure was being really unresponsive, for lack of cleaner language. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how to solo a factory, and so... If you look at your gags, uh, you do use quite a few gags, like I use 29, but I mean, so long as you have jelly beans, that's no big deal, but yeah, as you saw in some of the later things, and also with the way that I use foghorns to just increase the efficiency, like, definitely have these maxed if you're going to try to solo factories, like, I'm sure you can easily get it done without them all maxed, like, I'm sure you could probably get it done with, like, a big magnet and 
Oga and Cake and Cloud. Like, I'm sure that is possible. That is fantastic if you could do that. My personal rec recommendation is just get maxed all four, just so you can avoid as much damage as possible and not have to restock and take more time to heal up and yada yada yada. So anyway, I think I've talked enough. Um, thank you for watching this guide. I hope it helped you, and if it did, that is great. Please subscribe for more videos and leave a like if you like this video. If you have any questions, comment them in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions or requests, also put that in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.